What's going on? Kiwi Sylvia in here. You know what? Screw that. Right now, I'm about to get a little personal with you guys. I am now going to go by... My channel name's the same, but... Any other... Let's Play or any videos or... Anything that involves putting my name in, I will now be going by Rumi Kai. And... I was, I spent all of last year kind of searching inside, if you want to call it that, and decided that I don't identify e with either gender, so I'm going non-binary, and it's a lot of things. I'm looking at my script on my other screen right now. Now, the name meanings is the reason why it took me so long because I had to have it exactly what made me feel like well, me. The first name is Rumi. Rumi is Japanese for lapis lazuli, beauty, flow. I had help from with my best friend who's known me for most of my life at this point. And she was the first one to latch onto it. And so I've changed it at work. I've changed it Pretty much everywhere, if you've noticed, my social medias have been switched over. It's more me because others have noticed that, yeah, the meaning fits me. Because, let me think. Because the lapis lazuli, I love that meaning. Because I'm a nerd for when it comes to, like, gems or something. Give me a gem and after research I will be hooked. And unfortunately it doesn't really mean what my birthstone means but at this point I don't think I want to go with Ver Zirconia because that's a female name because her Zirconis which is Jade now. And um so and my friend said that Hey, Rumi fits me perfectly. So the next one is my middle name, Kai, is kind of ironic because I have a fear of the ocean and Kai means sea in Hawaii. I have to actually try to get onto my... There we go. And it's another main reason why I took the sabbatical, which a lot of YouTubers do. MJTV did for a while. Mark's, Markiplier's done it. A lot of people have done it. And first of all, I want to say thanks to Jaden Animations for like, giving me the courage to actually come up with this. I'll link her video in the description as well. And she, or yeah, she's... She came up, she, if you haven't seen her video first, see that first, and then I'll get into it. But if you have, you know that she's a non bi like, a, let's see. I'm in, uh, let's see, where is it? Now. As you know, Rumi and Kai are non-binary. Now, I identify as a non-binary, asexual, aromantic person. Now, the first thing your brain probably latched onto was asexual? Oh my, does that mean you hate sex or hate all that? No. It's just, I don't feel any attraction toward either gender. I don't feel nothing. People have tried to explain it, but I just don't get it. It's Nothing wrong with me. I just never did. As a teenager, I was dating just to see how it felt. But I felt nothing toward any of my partners. Not against them. They were great people. I just didn't feel that little spark that people say they get. And the that's the main reason why I have so many like male friends, female friends that... I just don't feel any romantic interest toward anybody. Like, nobody. Sure, I... 
there is attraction, but it's like not on that level. Like I could say, oh, she's cute. Oh, she, he is handsome. Doesn't mean I feel that. And the fact that people are deciding that, oh, you sound like a girl, you are a girl. You sound like a dude, you are a dude. Me, I'm neither, so I can't identify with either of those. And it actually straightly irritates me that people these days assume that my voice is a female. But yeah, I was born a girl. My voice is going to be a female, but I don't identify with that now, with that pronoun. The she, he, they, that, or he, she, her, he, him, I don't use those. Well, I use them, but I don't like to be called by those. I use they, them, or if you don't know me, just say person. Or just don't try, because either way you're going to probably insult me. And unfortunately at work, I can't do that because I might piss somebody off saying, oh, you said my said I'm a girl. I'm out, but not. Oh, are you? The I've heard every complaint, Dr. Man. Sorry, I hit my mic. I've heard every, every single person yell at me for who I am. And all I've done is just held it in because I can't do anything about it. Because they, there's no identifying thing, even though I have a name tag that clearly doesn't have a she, her, or, or the male, female pronoun, like, name, like I used to. And because I've changed my name and my co-workers have all supported me and they've, yeah, they've messed up and called me Crystal a few times, but they've gotten a lot better and they've actually supported me and they're letting me do it at my own pace like starting I think next month or something I'm going to be starting hormones that will lower my voice to make it like equal so nobody can keep saying I'm a ma'am or miss or lady and it's just something that irritates me to this day and the aromatic part is pretty much latched on to my asexualness because it's not something that I can actually explain to people because it's like, how do you explain not having an attraction? It's like, you just don't. Like, most of you probably do have like a husband, wife, whichever. Or both, or however you live your life. That feeling you have with them, I can't feel it. The only time I feel that is the sibling bonds. Like, with my brother. Sure, he's older than me, and yeah, we bicker, but what sibling doesn't? I just have that sibling feeling for anybody that I meet. It's why I probably will never get married. I'll probably never have kids, which is part of the asexualness. Because how would you have a kid if you don't feel anything toward others? Like, oh, I love them. They're so cool. I want to have their kids. Not that you can. Not that I'm saying it's bad. It's just I can't experience that. Because I've tried as a teenager and it just felt forced. Like I didn't mean it. Because I didn't. Because I didn't know how to feel. Because it's just weird for me to even think of having any feelings like that toward somebody else. Because it's I've tried and it just doesn't work. It's not me. I'm so glad if you decided to actually stay for this whole like 10 or so minutes or whatever but I really really hope you embrace the fact that I am neither gender but if you continue to call me Kiwi and Sylveon them are fine because they technically are both gender neutral which is weird considering when I made the channel I didn't know that there would have been a Sylveon in the future and that they would be either male or female or neat I didn't even know that and if you've noticed, all the banners and everything have this little new icon thing. That's 
the colors I identify with. That doesn't mean I'm gay or lesbian. It means I'm just neither gender nor I don't feel any attraction. It's something that I haven't been really... I've been, like I said, I've been thinking about it for the entire year. Trying to figure it out last year. 2022 ended and at the at the end I was like, oh shit, I forgot to let anyone know. So now, today, or whenever this goes up, this is the first video of 2023. Woo! Happy New Year. By, happy late New Year, by the way. And I will be doing another video. And there's been a lot in the news. And I actually, I can actually think about talking about it. Give me a moment. And it revolves around a football player. And I'm not a... I mean, I am a football fan when it comes to my team, the Vikings, which, yeah, go go to war down there. I don't care. Just as long as you don't be too mean, because I know that um, a lot of people are a little biased toward their teams, and I'm not, I'm not biased either. I mean, I am. But... Let me see if I can find his name. DeMar Hamlin. Now, if you guys haven't been a paying, paying attention to anything, then I'll give you a quick summary without actually going in depth. Because I don't know as much as anybody else, but on the game, this 24-year-old this man suffered a cardiac arrest. And that's as far as we know, we, and that he is in critical condition. But beside that, he has this charity, which I'll also have in the description below and probably in one of the cards somewhere. He is probably, he needs every support he can get, and whether it be pray to. Allah or Buddha or whoever your religion does that thing. And me, I technically am in between atheist and Christian because sometimes, yeah, I feel like I don't feel anything for up there, but at the same time, I know I didn't come from just dust. I know somebody had to do something, but Right now, all religions need to, not need to, but I feel like they should focus on the fact that, yeah, they didn't play a game. Oh, man, I'm going to be angry. Football isn't important right now. Human life is. And if you don't really feel that, you're not a human to begin with. Because at the end of the day, football players... Yeah, they go back and forth on the field and they can beat up each other, fight with each other. But at the end of that, at the end of the game, they're still humans. They're still going to be like, yo, what's up? How's the family? Especially if they're close. Like, I'm going to put an example like Packers and Vikings rivalry. That one has been around for as, probably as long as the teams have. And to be honest... I was born to hate the Packers, but at the end of the day, yeah, I'll recognize them that they're they're good people, especially especially Aaron Rodgers. I know Viking fan admitting to liking Aaron Rodgers. Oh no, the world's going to explode. He's a person. He has a family. He has a life. Doesn't mean he's twenty four seven going to say, "Oh, I hate these guys." It's like Jamar, Jamar, Demar, Demar, Demar. Sorry, not Jamar. My brain immediately flipped over. Damar, seemed, from what I've seen of before this whole incident, he seemed like a really nice guy. Like, he came, he said hi to his fans and everything. That's just who 
the football players are. They're not just their team. They are humans. So human life is more important than a football right now. And I'm pretty sure every team feels that because every team has done something for him. Either turn their stadium blue in honor of the Buffalo Bills or They've sent m money to his charity, which, of course, is in the b description below and probably in the card if I can do that. And I'll also do it the same with Jaden's thing. And there's been a lot of shit that's been going on now. People are... I've seen some people, like, upset that the game didn't finish or that nobody knows if they're going to win or they're going to lose. Right now, we need to focus on DeMar. He, his health is most important because he's a human being like us. He just chose to be a football player because he loved the game. It's like saying, I hate to do this, but it's like saying if your cat or dog are sick and all of a sudden you're like, oh, they don't want to live. So, where They're another life. That's all we are, is just life. And we, or people. We need to just focus on being, well, people. This is probably the longest video I've done. Besides a Let's Play, obviously. Because I'm using a new, new video thing, I guess you'd call it. But I truly, truly hope that Damar, Damar gets better and... When he does, it's going to be joyous. I'm getting choked up just thinking about it because that could be any of us one day. But he's only 24, mind you. He's way younger than I am, and he suffered something like this. So, just, if you go to war down there, just don't make it too bad because you have to remember, at the end of the day... Or whenever you get off work or school or anything, you're just a normal person after that. You don't have to hold on to any grudges or anything. I'm not telling you just stop having grudges. That's up to you. You can keep them until you die. Like me. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm... I just don't know. But that explains where I've been all of last year. What's been happening. Who I am now. I'm not changing any of the channel stuff. Like, I'm just changing, like, tweaking it to, like, the icons, the, the description, and all that fun stuff. But, yeah. I'm going to leave all the other stuff in the description below. Make sure to leave like, comment, subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you have that bell. Because you don't know if I'm going to upload anything. Maybe I will. I have some few things in the corn in the upcoming future. That I plan to do once I get a better computer, obviously, because right now the one I got is just used to do, like, other things. And I'll also have some more things in the description that you can check out while I'm getting my feet back into YouTube. So, anyway, I will see you guys then. Bye.